Jay Monet here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, so today we are at Pizza Hut, and I heard that they brought back the edge. We was getting so risky. Okay, so if you're interested, stay tuned, because we're about to get right into the video. So let me go ahead and get my hand sanitizer, baby. Woo! Okay, okay. <laughs> Let me give you a close-up. Boom, the edge. Let's open this thing right on up and get into it. Y'all, she said she dropped the corner of my pizza. And you know what? I respect that because she could have just put it back in there and I would have never known. But she offered me some breadsticks. So respect, respect. Boom, ooh, look, ain't got no edge. Or oh, are we living on the edge? Which one is it? I got the one with pepperoni, sausage, bacon, green peppers, I think onions, and tomatoes. Ooh, this looking a little bit kind of good. Let's get into it. Let me show y'all. I already gave y'all a close-up. I told y'all she said she dropped one of my edges. Girl, she's not dropping the edges on the floor. Sometimes I drop the edge on the floor. Girl, not on the edge piece to drop the edges. Okay, I guess. I guess if that's what y'all into. But yeah, she dropped it on the floor, but she could have put it back in there like I said, and she didn't. I respect that. Touch me right in my heart. I like that. You know I like that. So she gave me some bread sticks. And I was happy about that. You know, I didn't need to be eating all that bread. I'm trying to say, Sew! but she gave it to me. So I'm going to go ahead and eat that. So where should I start? I think this one look a little bit kind of good right here. This one right here. Show the people what I'm talking about. This one right here. This look like a good one. Let's go with this one. We're going to sit this down. I don't want to make no mess. It's so dangerous in here. Oh, it's so dangerous. That was just so dangerous. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Now, I know we call it the edge, but this is a thin crust pizza, right? Because I know a thin crust pizza when I taste one. This is thin crust. And you know what I like about thin crust? It don't make you feel like you're eating a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? It gives you a little bougie twist to it. It's just a delicate bite. It's just a delicate bite. That's it. This good because it's a little crunchy on the bottom. Oh, y'all see that? It's a little crustacean under here. I like that. It's a little crunchy. And then I feel like I'm not really cheating, cheating on my diet. You know what I'm saying? I'm cheating. <laughs> okay, baby, I'm cheating. Well, I'm not cheating, cheating. You know what matters when you double up the word. That's how you know it's real. See, I knew what I was talking about on the box. It say, thin and crispy crust you can't help but crave. I be knowing what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and finish this slice, and then we're going to get into the details. It really looked like I ate a whole lot and I only had one slice because she dropped my corner piece. Girl, got me over here looking like I'm eating a whole lot. But look, let me tell y'all something. One thing I like about thin crust pizza is I feel like I can taste the ingredients better. Do y'all be feeling like that or is it just me? When it's not that much bread, you really can taste whether or not the ingredients is fresh or whether they've been hanging out past their curfew or not. You know what I'm saying? Just lingering. Just out there. You know what I'm saying? Survival mode. Yeah, I can tell these ingredients is hot and fresh off the press. I like that. I do like that. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to talk to the people. Hold on. I'll be right back. Give me a second. I'll be right with you. Hold on. So let's talk about it, right? I like that even though it ain't no crust, it's still crispy. Not crusty, but crispy. You feel me? The underpiece right here, golden brown. Follow the yellow brick road, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Then you got that good old cheese, that mozzarella. You know what I'm saying? You put that mozzarella on top. Now, I'm not a huge sausage person, but I was like, you know, let me get the sausage because, you know, a lot of people like sausage. I'm not real big on it. I don't really like the flavor. I don't know what it is and why me and sausage really don't get along like that. I really don't like it too much, but I got it. And it was good, but I do prefer the pepperoni and bacon by itself. All the toppings came through and shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Then you know I had to keep it healthy because I be trying to get in my veggie debuts. So it got the green pepper and the onions on there. I did both. 
It was a duo. It was a duo. I put the green pepper. You see it right there? And it's some onions. It's somewhere. Oh, I see it. I put onions in there too. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep a balance. I'm trying to stay balanced. Yes. Y'all did that. All I needed was some garlic sauce. But let me tell you this. Never in my life will I pay 50 cents for no garlic sauce. I don't know why that's sold separately. Ain't no reason for that. You know we like to dip our pizza in a little garlic sauce or some ranch. That need to be complimentary. Y'all need to work on that. Because y'all done already rubbed me the wrong way. Charging me a dollar. So I could shake it like a salt shaker when it came to that red pepper flakes. All I needed was a packet. Ain't nobody tell y'all to give me a salt shaker full of red pepper flakes for one piece. I didn't ask for that. Charging me a dollar. And then you want to charge me 50 cents for dipping sauce? It never tastes better without it. Because this pizza is very mobile. You know what I mean? It's not making a whole lot of mess. It ain't dripping and dropping all up in my car. You know, it's chilling. It's just hanging out with me. We just shooting the breeze. It ain't doing too much. Mm-mm. How -mm. you talking about? This is your sign. If you've been craving pizza, I know you have. You've been craving it, haven't you? Somebody around you been craving pizza. I feel it on my spirit. It's a sizzle in my spirit. That's how I know it's pizza. When it's sizzling, I know. Somebody been craving pizza. This is your sign to go get some. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, go get some some. This is dangerous, though, because you really can't eat a lot of these little squares. You can get lost up in these squares. Yeah. And just keep eating and keep eating because it don't feel like you eating that much. And that's when you know you done ate a whole pizza to yourself. You know? You didn't ask for that. You didn't have to be here. Can't lie, I love Pizza Hut deep dish pan pizza because it be all crispy on the outside, it be nice and golden and crunchy on the outside. That's the only crust because it ain't really a crust, it's like a it's like we call that on what it's called, it's like a little perimeter, you know. what I mean, it ain't thick, it's just the right amount of crust. I love they deep dish pan pizza, okay? It's so good, but this this one is a heavy contestant. I'm not going to hold you. I rocks with it. I rocks with the edge. Because you know what I'm saying? I like to live my life kind of on the edge. So we relatable. It's relatable. I love something that's relatable. So on a scale from one to five, one band, I don't like that. Five band, you know, I think I got to like that. I'm going to have to give this joint a four. I'm going to go with a solid four. I rock with you. I do. Rock the boat. Rock the boat. Rock the boat. Work it in the middle. Did y'all hold on? Cause I know they ain't give me no breadsticks without no sauce. Oh, what's in there? Y'all want to see me take a bite of breadstick? This all got stuff all on it. I don't know if I like marinara. I don't know if I like marinara. I don't know if I like her like that. Mmm. Look at all that garlic they put on there like that. Look. Look. Look, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. Don't get me in trouble. Trouble. All right, look, y'all. I'm going to head out. But before I do, let me tell you this. Beware of being too available for people. Reason being is because you place yourself in a situation where you no longer are able to do this out the kindness of your heart because now you are being an enabler. Now you are always available for people no matter what and not even realizing that you are neglecting your own feelings by trying to make sure they're always okay. You wanna ensure that at the end of the day, you are taking care of you and that you're staying true to yourself. You don't want to trap yourself in that role because it's hard to get out of. You don't owe people anything. So when you do do things, and it is out of the goodness of your heart, pay attention to the frequency. How mentally, physically, and emotionally available do you have to be to place value in someone's life when they already know you're a good person? Be careful of how often you place your own feelings, needs, and wants on the back burners to always ensure someone else is okay and being taken care of. You want to be able to set strong, healthy boundaries because after a while, it's going to start to take a toll on you. When you begin to really be honest about how you feel about this, that person is going to characterize you as someone when they no longer can depend on because now they don't understand the boundaries that honestly should have been set in the first place. When you encounter people in your life, do not hesitate with creating boundaries because they are needed for protection of yourself. 
All right, y'all. Well, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Until next time, guys. Peace.